Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we're going to see how to use Google Earth Time Lapse to explore changes in our planet over the last several decades. Back in 2013, Google launched an awesome standalone tool called Google Earth Time Lapse, which could show you how any location on Earth has changed over the past few decades, with an animation created from all of their collected satellite imagery. Now Google has made this project even more powerful and useful by bringing it inside of Google Earth itself. Although the standalone time-lapse site still works, you can now open Google Earth and access the same content through a built-in time-lapse feature. This brings the added benefit of being able to move in 3D while viewing the changing landscape from the past 37 years, making Google Earth a truly 4D experience now. Beyond that, Google has also created themed collections of time lapses, as well as over 800 pre-rendered time lapse videos for you to use. Altogether, these resources can help students understand better than ever the changes happening to our world, including forests, water, agriculture, wildfires, mining, urban growth, and more. Let's take a look at how to use these new tools. You can access the time-lapse tool by going to the address g.co slash time-lapse. Or you can navigate to it inside of Google Earth by starting off at earth.google.com. Once you're in Google Earth, you can click on the Voyager button in the toolbar on the left. It's the button that looks like a ship's steering wheel. From the Voyager screen, you can now scroll down and click on the tile for time-lapse in Google Earth. This will now open the time-lapse feature in Google Earth, which includes the time-lapse panel on the right-hand side. Here you can type in any location on Earth that you would like to explore. Google Earth will now fly you to that location and begin playing an animation of satellite imagery from 1984 to the present. Because this is Google Earth though, you can also zoom in and zoom out, move around in any direction, and even switch from 2D into 3D view. Now do note, it may take a little bit of time to load in all of the images depending on your internet speed. You may need to let the animation run through a couple of times before it clears up. In the same time-lapse panel where you can search for any location, there's also the Stories tab. Here you will find guided tours that will take you to locations around the world where you can explore the changes through time-lapse. These stories include changing forests, fragile beauty, sources of energy, warming planet, and urban expansion. After selecting a story, you can navigate through the content using the arrows down in the bottom right-hand corner. Also in the time-lapse panel, you'll find a section titled Featured Locations. Here you can find collections of hand-selected locations from around the world in categories such as agriculture, deforestation, glaciers, infrastructure, and much more. After you choose a collection, you can now browse through the locations and view the time-lapse for each one. In addition to the time-lapse feature inside of Google Earth, Google has also created a site with over 800 pre-rendered videos of time-lapses from all around the world. You can access these at g.co slash time-lapse videos. You can narrow down the collection by clicking on the Themes button and then choosing a category that you want, or you can click on the Regions button to select just a certain area of the world. For each location, you can click on the 3D button to view a 3D version of the video. or you can click the 2D button to watch a 2D version. You can also click on the download button to download your own copy of the video in MP4 or GIF format. 
And that's it. Google Earth Time Lapse is a fantastic tool to allow our students and everyone to explore the changes in our world and have a better understanding of nature, science, and human impact. Google promises to update Google Earth annually with new time lapse images, so this will just become a more and more powerful tool over time. For quick access to the links shared in this video, check out the description below the video. And to explore all of my EdTech resources, videos, projects, and more, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com.